Hello everyone. My name is Jin Garash. Today I'm going to talk about UNDP's new WebGIS platform for visualization and analytical tool. And this slide was initially presented in Kosovo end of this June. And uh, I would like to introduce this GeoHub to UK community and also some updates after Kosovo. And, uh, I am Jin Garash and uh, yeah, I, I am currently full stack GIS developer in UNDP. Well, I, I have been working in water sector, mostly in East Africa since 2014. That is my another job. Yeah. So I'm interested in water, how GIS can integrate it with water and the citations. Yeah. And you can find me in GitHub, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Yeah. And uh, yeah, UNDP, first UNDP is an United Nations agencies helping countries to eliminate poverty and to achieve sustainable development goal, SDGs. And uh, this GeoHub is a centralized ecosystem uh, to support UNDP staff and policy makers uh, to help them visualize and anal anal analyze geospatial data set to achieve SDGs. Yeah. And uh, previously, we, we, had, we have several problems to use GIS data set. Firstly, UNDP didn't have any centralized repository to manage data set. So, and secondly, using GIS, it required very specialized skills. So not easy for every staff to use GIS. And uh, of course, it requires a lot of money to use consultant services to visualize and analyze GIS data set. And for the commercial software like uh, S3, uh, very limited software and hardware capabilities. Yeah. That is why we are developing UNDP GeoHub. Yeah. And uh, GeoHub has five main features. Yeah. And firstly, yes, it is a centralized geospatial database uh, that uh, UNDP offices or maybe any third party data like Microsoft Planetary or Open Data stuck from other UN agencies like UNICEF, WFP, FAO. We, we, can, we make the cloud optimized data set upload to GeoHub to manage all data sets together in one press, and uh, those data set can be ex explored from GeoHub as a data catalog. And then we provide uh, visualization and analytical tool in GeoHub to simply visualize those data sets. And, uh, like switching color map or filtering data set or uh, some simulation features yeah, to enable users to dynamically change parameters to analyze data set. Yeah. And uh, finally, once user visualize uh, and save the map, visualize maps, user can save maps in the database and share user map to the community. Yeah. We have this functionality. And also, last one, we have uh, some feature for dashboard. Currently, we have electricity dashboard. This is for very 
special application in GeoHub uh, using GeoHub dataset to visualize uh, electricity access yeah, in this dashboard. And these are main features of GeoHub. And uh, from here, I'm going to talk about the technologies and software used in GeoHub. This is a uh, uh, overview of GeoHub ecosystem. It looks very complicated. Yeah. More, all, all of the uh, softwares are deployed to Azure, uh, Azure web services. Yeah. And uh, firstly, it's backbone services. We have three services. It's dynamic vector tile service and static vector tile service and raster tile service. And dynamic vector tile service, we use PG tile sub and create a customized Postgres function to dynamically create vector tiles with given parameters through PG tile sub and front end side. Uh, currently, we have some human development index data set uh, to provide some simulation features through this dynamic vector tile service. And of course, using MapLibre to visualize. Yeah. And static vector tile services. We use cloud optimized vector tile data set with PM tiles. It's very cool vector tile data set. And the user can upload data set to, and we, our data pipeline will convert data set to PM tiles and using MapLibre to visualize that data set. The last tile services, we use a software called T-Tiler. T-Tiler is dynamic raster tiling server. Uh, we, we use two data, two kind of data set for T-Tiler. Firstly, is the Coq Cloud Optimized GeoTIFF stored in Azure Storage Account. Some last data from users will be converted to Coq and use T-Tiler to visualize in MapLibre. And also, we use Stack. We are using Microsoft Planet Planetary Computer. We fetch the Coq from a Planetary Computer through T-Tiler and visualize in MapLibre. And T-Tiler is a very powerful raster tiling server very easily to change parameters of GeoTIFF, cloud of GeoTIFF. And yeah, this is very powerful last tiling server for anal analytics. And for front end side, we use the Svelte, Svelte kit. It is quite a new uh, front end framework. And for CSS library, we are using Burma, Burma CSS. And of, of course, we use MapLibre GLJS to visualize those cloud optimized data set. And uh, we also have some REST API to collaborate partners. This API Swapka document is available in our website. Yeah. And uh, so I think our, this API is quite easy for developer to use. It's very stack-like API, not exactly stack. Yeah. Yeah, so we are welcoming any partners to collaborate with UNDP yeah, to use this GeoHub. Yeah. And uh, this is, uh, I'm going to talk about in this side, uh, what will happen next. These are the list I presented in Kosovo. Yeah. And uh, 
current after Kosovo, we are doing these three highlighted things currently. Firstly, we are improving the UI UX that previously our UI is not very user friendly. Yeah. Some UI is very complicated. Yeah. And uh, also we are continuing improving data pipeline. Actually, data pipeline is not yet completed, almost completing. Yeah, we, we hope we are soon going to provide this data approach pipeline. And uh, after I presented this in Kosovo, I had a very nice discussion with UNICEF and the GIZ. So we are now trying to collaborate with some other agencies. Yeah. And uh, also that second one, we also uh, want to develop some scale adaptive hybrid geospatial layers to dynamically change some raster and vector layers according to scales, zoom level, to represent some risk indicators layers for specific purposes. And also, we, that UNDP, we, we want more users to use this GeoHub, not only UNDP users, staff. So currently, we only have UNDP account support in GeoHub, but we are going to provide other social logins like Google, Facebook, or maybe GitHub yeah, to enable other users to use, upload their data set and visualize and sharing map to its communities. Yeah. yeah, that is the, yeah, some updates after Kosovo. Yeah, and some of the changes uh, what we did after prison, actually we haven't merged those changes to production. So maybe you can try our developer version first, dev.undpjohub.org. That right, right, right hand side QR is for production. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for listening to this presentation.